Hello everyone and welcome back to the Hardcore Survival Series. It's been a while, it's been uh, longer than I intended to be honest, and we are back in the world of Minecraft. Um, I've done a bit of bit of upgrading, so we've actually got a few rooms to this house now, um, which is nice, and I tried to start upgrading the beginning of this uh, mining area that we've got going on over here, a little mining, mining storage facility. It's currently um, still looking pretty bare inside, I've started to try and get the smithing tables down on the floor to look, make it look really cool. If you've seen my previous video, you would have seen that I have, or it might not be my previous video, but a uh, previous video where I created the interior of that build in my actual build world where I planned it. Um, so I'm going to base it off of that and hopefully it looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I'm, I've, I'm heading on to try and adventure and create and make this world as good as possible. So what I think today is going to get this finished. I'm uh, probably going to get some sort of, um, maybe like a farm set up. Uh, we need some more resources and things. And we're really going to see what kind of goes on with our day and just kind of take it as we go. Um, I don't really have anything planned, but I'm just, just kind of playing the game, enjoying the game again. So I'm going to see where we go from here. And uh, hopefully we have a good adventure. So I'm exploring this abandoned mine shaft down in the mine. I'm not going to lie, it looks so awesome. I didn't realise they added chains down here too, which is pretty cool. It's weird though it's not like an actual abandoned mine shaft it's just like an abandoned mine shaft in an open space so you just kind of have platforms around and it's kind of like a platformer it's probably the most peculiar thing i've actually ever experienced in this game it's just really odd i'm not used to having open spaces like that um with mine shafts just in them it's very rare in previous versions of minecraft however this has changed the whole update to be honest the whole update has changed a lot um, and I do need the sign that I saw. Well, look at that. We found another spawn arc. I think I found two or three this this whole time, which is absolutely insane because previous Let's Plays of Minecraft, oh, Fortune 3, that is incredible. I have actually never found um, this many spawners. To be honest, they used to be so rare, but ever since the new update, I seem to find a lot more. Was that? Oh, it's just... just just effects from above it <laughs> i thought it was a silverfish at first but thankfully it is not but yeah as i was saying the um spawn spawn rate not even the spawn rate the spawners themselves just seem to be everywhere um it's mental it's, it might just be the seed or is it just the new to the terrain generations you guys will have to let me know down in the comments below let me know how, how you've been kind of finding it it seems to be a lot easier to find um spawners in these caves nowadays well obviously in the mine shaft you generally find a um, poisonous spider spawner, but apart from that, I'm very shocked that I found, I think, three, three zombie spawners. I think that was a zombie spawner. Um, let's quickly double check. It was, yes, it was. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys have been finding, because I found three. I haven't really played this um, Hardcore World too much. I've played it for a bit, but not enough to uh, find what I would say three spawners. As I was just talking about spawners, we happened to run across another one, like... What are the chances of this, again, to come across another one? And it happens to be a zombie one again. I mean, we're not getting too lucky on the the spawner itself. But we are getting lucky in the sense that we have... Isn't that supposed to be really rare? Well, it's no longer going to be rare. But I believe that's actually a really rare sight in the game. To have a... Um, to have a zombie riding a chicken. is actually like a really low chance, I believe. I remember seeing it in a video a long time ago. Um... I believe it's still quite a, a um, rare sight, so that that was something interesting for us to kind of view, I guess. So I finished my mining excursion with six diamonds, a bunch of random stuff that's pretty cool, a fortune free book, some iron smelting, and some gold. It wasn't too bad of a run. It wasn't like a, a massive run either, but this rain is so loud and it's unbearable actually to change it in the settings. Um, but I do want to make an enchanting table and actually um, equip this fortune free book too so that's what I'm going to be doing uh, making my way towards getting an enchanted pickaxe just to make life a bit easier especially with that fortune it will allow me to progress a lot quicker through the game but for now I'm just going to wait out this horrible weather and wait for everything to cook so I should actually be able to make my enchanting table now after a bit of uh, mining for some obsidian 18 obsidian isn't too bad it took a while without any enchantments but anyway let's get on with building this um enchanting table so we should have enough 
There we are. Uh, let's not build three. Let's just build the one. Um, so we have an enchanting table, which is great. Um, I could upgrade to level 30, but I need bookshelves, which I don't think I have too many. Um, I'm going to have to have a quick wander about, see if there's any sort of leather or just books from any villages. But I don't remember if I've raided any villages. If so, it might be some spare junk up here. Um, it's not looking promising. There's, there's some leather there. Um, no books from what I can see. Just quickly double check. Yeah, I'm looking so promising. Um, there's barrels everywhere in this place. I forgot how much I filled up with. But yeah, found a bit of leather. Isn't the end of the world. We can sort. Um, we can sort out the whole book problem. It's not a problem. I just need to get. Um, yeah, some sort of enchantment. So I could enchant this pickaxe. It's breaking anyway. Get a low level enchant, um, see what we can get on it. Or I could get the fortune, I got a fortune book and I don't really want to waste it. Um, oh yeah, I dug out this hole so I know where the spawner is as well that's below us. Um, strictly for the purpose that I'm going to use that at some point. I'm not sure what for, but let's just get this down. And uh, enchant, so obviously they're not going to be good enchantments at this level. Um, I mean we can make some more books I guess. Uh, books, create five of those, we've got 12, um, let's grab some planks, we can make some bookshelves, we can make four bookshelves which will get us a couple of levels, nothing special, um, let's move this, where are we going to put it is my next question to be honest, I don't think there's a lot of room up here um, at all, I don't think I can put it anywhere in this house, the top floor, I'd have to put it, yeah, um, I mean I could ram it in here, this might work, uh, and then I'd have to move that to there, and come up here, oh, this could this could actually work, it could be like a hidden hidden enchanting room, this could work, let's throw that in there, and we can fill in the roof with some wood in a bit, but that should still give the effect of the enchantments from what I've realised, yes it does, so I can get in level 8 enchant which isn't terrible efficiency 2 we we'll take it um, and obviously that's you know nothing special but it's better than nothing I've got the fortune free book ready for use but we have got a bit of enchanting now um, that efficiency will just help slowly and I'm going to go farm up some more leather and things and uh, possibly play around with the mob spawner see if I can get some sort of XP farm going that will be a nice addition to have to this world in all fairness so I'm trying to fix my problem with the lack of leather and I've created an army of animals just following me all the way back. Now I would walk normally but I've had so much issues with these guys just walking away from me after a while so I'm just going to do this until I get near enough, um, probably just over here. I'm just going to dig them into the floor and leave them there um, and then breed them and maybe one day I'll move them into an actual house but for now I just need leather. That's all I need. So let's uh, let's just dig out a quick hole. That we can all kind of get into. Um, unfortunately, I am not proud of this, but this is what it's come to. Oh, come on, guys, uh, just push each other in. Perfect. Uh, and you guys over it. Oh, he almost fell in. I will just have to do the honors of pushing him in then. And I don't really care about the sheep. He's gone now. Um, yeah, now we can. Uh, one more. I'm not holding the wheat. Uh, let's feed these guys. Get those to breed. As much as we can. Awesome. Now I'm going to go sleep and um, keep breeding these as much as I can, really. Just to get as many, um, as many cows as possible so I can get leather. Oh, I doubt my shield. What was I thinking? He's got an enchanted bow. Well, this ain't good. Uh, let's put that on. He's actually uh, causing problems there. Thankfully he's now gone. And we can continue with our journey. Let's get back inside and sleep. Because this is getting rather dangerous. So I'm just clearing out this mob spawner. So I can start beginning to make an XP farm. Um, I've currently cleared out four in one way. I'm going to start clearing out four in every other way. So I've dug out four here. I'll begin clearing out these areas and um, 
just making a small zone for now that we can use to begin this XP farm. I just want them to be able to spawn in a box and uh, move them from one place to another. Now I think I'm going to need some ice for this build which is going to be a problem because I don't have silk touch. I actually believe I got a silk touch pickaxe uh, shovel or something very early on and I actually got rid of it um, which was a huge mistake. It was only a gold one but I still feel like that was a huge mistake. I should have kept that. Uh, maybe we can just do a few you know enchants to see what we can get i've got a small uh, the small little cow den that i was currently working on as well so we'll see where we can go and kind of go with this but right now i'm just going to dig out this area and hopefully we can get a bit more of the building side done today as i've done a bit of exploring and just random shenanigans really so let's get this done and uh we should be able to do some building and um yeah be all good and hopefully we can get a nice xp farm sorted today so I'm actually going to need to go to the nether to get some soul sand. I've got, that's where the spawner is and this is where the exit to the mob shoot is going to be. So the mobs are going to come up here. Now I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this. Do I just like uh, make an archway out of stone or something that comes over um, and they can kind of come through it, funnel down and drop um, and take quite a lot of damage. I mean, it's just how much damage are they going to take from falling? I would have to build something like 20 something blocks high. Which is going to be kind of ridiculous um, and will look just so out of place. But I could potentially do it. I could build like a giant archway here. Um, I'm not really sure what the whole plan is. I just want to get this kind of set up. And I haven't even built like anything for a portal either. Um, I literally just have an obsidian uh, bunch of obsidian blocks. And I need to get some some gravel to, to get, a, um, get a flint and steel so we can actually get on with going to the nether so i believe over by this massive mound of stone um or you know the cliffs uh there was actually a gravel patch somewhere i've seen so many recently especially down in the caves um but i didn't really think that i would need them right now i have to be honest so let's just quickly jump around here and see if we can find one with it. oh there's a huge gravel here hill here that doesn't matter too much now i just need to Get a bit, bit of flint for a moment and it will be perfect absolutely perfect now what are the actual odds of a piece of flint dropping for one of these is my kind of question here i've never actually don't actually know i've already broke like 20 and we don't have a, it might be better for me just to go back to the house with this much and then um get a new shovel and just keep breaking the same ones and placing and breaking until we get one Oh, we got one. That's cool. So we can now make a flint and steel. Perfect. Let's head back towards the little camp, our little base camp village, whatever we want to call it. We can begin setting up this nether pool, which I'm not too sure where to place. So we've got the mining thing here, um, which is pretty cool. We've got a small little ravine there. Nothing too fancy. I need to put a water bucket in this, to be fair. Um, we got our main base there. We're gonna have a spawner thing here, um, so we could have something like over here. Wouldn't be too bad, I think. Maybe for now, if we just put it like, um, I mean, let's yeah, let's do. I mean, I just got rid of my shovel. Let's make another shovel. We could probably make one just there. If not, I mean, I can always break it and remove it and place it again. But I'm gonna put it there um, in hopes that we can kind of come up with a way to terraform this little hill over it and i'm gonna have to wipe out so many of these trees and i'll begin creating custom trees at some point but for now i just want to kind of get this base portal down uh so someone like here will be perfect i think so two um and then i use the uh i use the cheap way on the bottom here and then we're gonna go up two three i mean i could cheap cheap out again on the corners and then voila we are done um not sure if i'm keeping this here or not but for now i just need it to head in and grab some soul sand and then leave so let's hope we get a good never spawn as generally i get the worst never spawns um let's wait for this to load in shall we so once again um where are we okay this doesn't look too bad down there looks pretty bad um is there any soul sand relatively close apart from on that ceiling up there? Just here actually, isn't too bad. Although I know a lot of places like this 
with the soul sand. You only have a lot of mobs in them, um, and I just need a bit of soul sand. Simple. Now let's get out of here because that hurt. Out. That's yeah. I don't fancy fighting you. I just want to get out. I mean, I'm gonna have to proof up this area because I feel like I'm gonna end up falling off of this at some point. Now all I need to do is head back down, sleep, and then head back down in the mine, and we can get on with this uh afk xp farm maybe not afk xp farm but the xp farm because i'm gonna need that xp so i'm beginning the joys of just spamming kelp down so we can get to the top here and i'm gonna head it all the way back down and break this so these are all, uh, should all now be all water source blocks head down break this kelp um then i'm gonna need that soul sand break this bottom block here place up soul sand now there we are this will send us all the way up which is exactly what I wanted. So now our spawner is in progress. Well, not in progress, but it sends us up here. And then that's kind of what I want to do with this. Now, do I head along with kind of a plan of going something like um, up of like five, six blocks and then across, so like an archway type thing. Um, so just a rough idea of what's going on here. Um, something like this. And we can head it all the way along here. Maybe not all the way along here, but just along here. And then down drops um, and they could take damage. Or we could... Yeah, no, 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 that, that could work. So I could have someone that goes along here. And then they drop off down into like this. This will, however, just be like a, a random tube. I'm just using... Literally, these are temporary blocks. Don't worry about the mess that I'm currently making. So somewhere like this. Um, and then it will head up like so. Uh, let's get rid of that. Head up like this and across there. And obviously we can build this into an actual archway. Um, so we can have things like this come across. I'm just roughly planning of what's going on here. Um, kind of want to make it look like a really cool archway. Although it's going to be a bit difficult with this. I mean, we can have something... Now we could definitely make this work, it's just going to take a bit of effort, I think, quite a bit of effort. Um, should be okay, should be pretty cool though, I think we can do something with that. So I'm going to use these as like a temporary block for now, uh, so what I need to do is actually head into this, let's head up, uh, create this to the height that I want, which is going to be, um, I'm going to need it a bit taller than that aren't I really, I'm going to have to get rid of this tree too. Um, this axe is going to break it like a couple of hits, not good, not good at all, that's fine, we're going to have to manually punch this tree down, that's fine, I'm trying to work out what we're going to be doing with this spawner though, uh, we might be able to get most of this tree down with this axe, that will do, uh, majority of it is kind of down I guess, and we can punch this out here, get through these two bits of logs and hopefully there's no more in that tree that's all i can hope for right now and if there is more in that tree then i'm not going to be impressed although it looks like we're all good uh, as things are falling from it already so right we'll come up here let's get rid of these now while they're in the way um tube that heads up here so something about this height is what we want get rid of these I don't want these here like that perfect and then so we can come up here uh, I think I'm gonna have to do something like this so they come up oh just slightly higher um, can I place see yeah, I should have to just place water here um, I'm gonna have to block that off for a second come down here and yeah, I'm going to try and work this out. I think it's going to be a bit confusing. But I'm sure it won't be too bad. Um, I'm going to have to go all the way down again, aren't I? And yeah, let's see what I can do with this, I guess. So I believe the fundamentals of this is actually in place. So you send them up. Um, they should get brought along here, which is what I wanted. Um, a very slow rate bullets things. Very slow. It might be worth taking this block out, moving this back by one, just to speed it up a bit. But eventually they will drop in here and go along and drop down there. And I don't know how far I'm down I'm going to make that. Um, however, I do feel like I should probably remove that. 
put that there. Right, let's fill this in too, and this. Um, and that should work a bit quicker, I think. Oh no, it seems to slow down here anyway. Um, and then it should drop me to here. There you go. That, that's a bit better, nothing... I mean, that's not even that much better, to be honest. It's... Oh, I mean, it's, it's got a slight improvement. Um, nothing to worry about, that's fine, we can sort that. Anyway, they will fall down there, take damage. Uh, once I remove all the stuff off of the thing. So what I'm going to do is begin my time attempting to somehow make this look good with a very limited supply of stone and cobble. Um, I'm going to have to do so much cobble farming just to get this. And this pickaxe is basically gone. I think it's time to go check on the cows. I'm going to need some more levels, uh, not levels, XP. Uh, I English is not coming to me right now. I need, I need books. So I need leather. That's exactly what I was trying to do. Um, where did I put the hole? Ah, there it is. So let's just um, let's get rid of a few of these. Oh, that's not good. Don't want to. I don't want to like kill loads of you, but it looks like it's going to be that way. At least two of you I need alive. There we are. That'll do. I'll keep you two alive. Um, let's see if I can get back out of here. Block you guys in. And that's ten. So that should be ten books. That's like another. What three six nine free book? I guess free book. I think free bookshelves. I could be wrong. Um, yeah, something like that. That's fine. Free bookshelves is fine. I mean, I'm gonna have to move the. Um, I'm gonna have to move the enchanting table from up there because it's not gonna work once I get too many. Um, because I can't really remove that roof. Uh, do I have? I swear I had leftover books because I broke a bookshelf the other day on accident. They might be upstairs. Let's grab some wood actually while we're down here. Right, let's use the birch because I don't like it. And head upstairs to the top floor. That's perfect. And then, alright, I don't know what I've done with these books. I might have dumped them in here. I did. Yep, perfect. Uh, I don't have a crafting table up here, but I'm about to. So, there we are. That's crafting table. Um, can I, feel, I can feel one in the back there. Then we can just get some bookshelves. Um, no, I need... Oh god, no. That's that's what I didn't want to do. I'm going to have to break this with my hand. I forgot to bring the paper. Oh no, it's paper there. I should have more. I should have loads more. Um, I mean, I can always go downstairs and get some. That's fine. Let's get some books made. That's eight. Bookshelves. Three. Um... Only books left, so it's not really much point in making those other two. So, alright, that's um this is where my problem lies, you see. I'm gonna have to break this. Uh, and I'm gonna have to break all of these. Just to get my books back. Um and then move this table somewhere else, which I'm not looking actually forward to doing. It's, it's just gonna be a bit of a messy situation. And it requires me to build something. Uh, it's not. I'm not even going to build something. I'm going to place it in the uh, mine place at the, on the top floor for now, and I can sort that out later on when I've got a bit more um, of understanding of what I'm doing in this world. Because right now it's a goddamn mess. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just building and just placing things everywhere. All right. So that's done. We can head back down the ladder. Head back down here. We can head out. Get this set up. Oh no, we need the bookshelves first before we do that. There's some bookshelves there, and there, that's fine. Uh, we could actually get, yeah, we got sugar cane down here. Uh, we got some sugar cane there. Get some paper. Perfect. Uh, throw that away for a second. Get another book made, and then we can get another bookshelf made, and then we have 12, which is great. And then we're getting close to those levels that we want. And we can head back over here. Oh, this is this has been like a major just change of scenery. I'm in the middle of renovating this at the moment. Feel free to judge me as much as you want. It's uh, not quite there yet. So I need oh, I keep forgetting to craft axes and things because I've got such low resources. Uh, that's that. Cool. 
<laughs> what are the odds of that happening? There's one hole in the floor and I fall through it. Uh, I should have really looked what I was doing, to be fair. Right, so I'm going to have to place this here. So we can go one, two, uh, one, two, three. Um, one, two. One, two. Then that should give me up to 24 now, which is perfect. I could upgrade this to sharpness three. Why, why was I even doing this? I can't remember what I was doing this for. Um, a sharpness free sword will do. Um, I mean, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm upgrading what for what? Um, what was I doing? It is confusing me. That's fine. I'll leave that up there. I think I was trying to get a looting sword um, with this just to make things easier. Although I should really be focusing on getting a better pickaxe. And maybe that's what I was trying to do. Um, I might farm up some more leather. And just run around slaughtering cows until I level 30 in chance and then make a new diamond pickaxe that's probably going to be my best bet so we're looking pretty good at the moment i mean it's going to take a lot more terrain editing to get this fully done this has already taken me a good probably 45 minutes to get just this 45 to an hour of just terraining i was really not happy with the way it's coming out and i had to spend majority of my time mining and then doing this and it's nowhere near done it's literally just stone Cobblestone. They're the only two things I've done. I smelted stone and I've mined cobblestone. I have pretty much done nothing efficient here other than mine stone and cobblestone. And that's it. I mean, this side, I'm not too sure about this side. I mean, there's a few things like this. Um, I've even had to make a new pickaxe as how far we've gone. It's just, yeah, I'm going to have to do a few alterations, I think. I'm not so happy with this side. Maybe something like that in there. could change it out, but I need to... I want to get some of these slabs and things down and I'm going to have to do so much more editing. I would time lapse it but for some reason my um, whole, uh, what's it called, replay mod doesn't seem to be uh, working properly for some reason. Every time I do it, it just keeps crashing so I'm going to have to find a fix for it I and mean, hopefully I'll have that sorted soon. However, I am just going to basically spam blocks on this of stairs, slabs. I'm going to have to go craft a load more as well. Um, just so we can get this looking as best as possible. Um, that's pretty much it. It's just going to be kind of a long game here where I go around placing things and replacing them because I'm not enjoying the way they're placed or I don't like the way it looks. Um, so I'm going to add in some mossy cobble and things as well. Um, basically just a lengthy process but hopefully in the long run it could potentially be worth it and I mean, it just looks pretty cool anyway. It's a nice little feature and we have a nice functioning XP farm, hopefully by the end of this, um, we'll find out, I guess, eventually. Um, yeah, let's see what this uh, kind of turns out in, I guess. Just patching up the giant hole in the floor that I left from when I um, dug straight up from the mob spawner. But all I need now is a gr grass block, I believe, uh, a shovel. And we'll take a look at this and hopefully it will look pretty good. I want to add some leaves to it. So what I'm going to do, give myself a pair of shears and go around cutting some trees. We can have a load of leaves. Although I might have some leftover, I do, which is great. Which is perfect. There are some moss blocks, but I'm not really too sure on them. Um, I might leave it in the comments for you guys to suggest if I should try and use some of these moss blocks to, just to make it look a bit better. But um, I came in here for something, literally that we spoke about two minutes ago I've already forgot what it is it's um it's not in the food cupboard I mean I've got so much food everywhere I've got potatoes for days I keep picking up potatoes putting them down I've got, uh 61 here I've got 43 in there I have two more stacks I think up there that I put in the chest while I was trying to sort out oh I've got two stacks here like what is going on uh I love me some potatoes but yeah I think we have oh we came in here for leaves but I came in here for I don't think, yeah, I don't think I'm going to need, I need dirt. That's what I need. Which one was dirt in? Um, oh, there's rooted dirt, normal dirt. Let's just take the normal dirt. Um, and the shovel. I keep getting confused on this house, so two sticks. Um, and I can just make a, uh, yeah, I can just make a gold shovel for this. Wait a minute. I was going to say, I remember there being a shovel in this box, but it's cool. We have a, a shovel now. I literally just need it for one block, so it's not going to be the end of the world here when I come over and just place that down. 
There we are. Now that's sorted. I will upgrade this path eventually, don't worry. I'm currently in the process of doing this and this is looking pretty cool. Let's just add in a few more different blocks and things and hopefully we can get this looking really good. Um, keyword is hopefully right there. Something I want is this to look as cool as I can possibly make it. Um, I, I want to get vines too actually. I think I might need to grab some shears um, and go to the jungle biome and cut down some of those uh, cut down some of those vines. Hopefully we can make this look really really nice. Uh, that doesn't work because it's a slab there. But the only issue is there's lots of weird slab placements. I'm gonna have to really play around with some of these place placements here. Um, something like that. That's awesome on this side. That looks really cool. Like that, very simple. We get something there, maybe there. Move one down here, here. I think that's pretty much it. I mean, I like the way it looks. Very simplistic. Nothing too. I mean. I say it looks very simplistic, but that took me forever to build. I mean, it looks so dope now with the leaves. It actually looks really cool. Can I sleep quickly before I uh, head over and try and get some vines? I'm going to grab some vines, which shouldn't take me too long. Uh, hopefully I have two. I know I have raw iron somewhere anyway, but I need to grab some. Um, I can't even think of it. What, what was I speaking of? Uh, grabbing shears to make vines. No, to make vines, just to cut some vines down. Um, I do have these flowering azalea things as well I could add into this build. Uh, do we have shears here? No, we don't. Now, I did have iron. Whether or not I have a clue where I put it. Different story. I dump things everywhere when I'm building. As soon as I start building, everything goes out the window. I've even put my shield in here. Like, why have I put my shield in there? I guess, I don't know. I don't know what the cause for that is. I think I was just empty in my inventory. Um, and I've put my shield in there, although I have my shield equipped, so I don't know what I've done. I have no, absolutely no clue, unless I pressed F and swapped out, I guess, um, by accident. That might have been what I did. Um, I keep talking and forgetting what I'm trying to do. I need um, raw iron. Raw iron, it could be in here. Yes, there we are. I just need two of that uh, done. Got no hardly any coal left from all of this smelting and things that I've been doing. Uh, they're just for show, really. Uh, for, I've got a little book in there. I have a Fortune Free book somewhere. Funnily enough, the rarest book I have, I can't remember where I put it. Right, that's one. And I just need one more. We can go get some nice leaves to finish off this XP farm. And then all we need to do is fully hook it up and it should work properly. And with the placement of the vines, we are looking a lot better as well. That really looks a lot cooler. Um, although the only issue is they're going to grow down. And it's going to be pretty horrible to deal with. But that's fine. I just like the way it looks. It makes it look a lot better. I can always alter them and just, you know, trim them back if they do get too long. Which isn't a huge issue. So that's pretty cool. All done. Now, I just want to see. Um, oh, God, I can't remember how deep this is. Um, in terms of where the center point actually is. So I believe our closest way is going to be going through this middle section. Uh, what was that block I just broke? Was that just a, just a block there? Or was it a stair? Oh god. Uh, we'll just use it as a block. Um, something like that we'll have to do I think. Um, and they'll fall into there. We can just chop them. Although they're, not, they're going to be like near enough full health. But purely for testing purposes, I want them to fall here. Um, let's just make sure they will fall there. Yes, they will. Um, and I need to get some drips though. That, that will deal more damage to them. And they fall onto it. Um, hopefully. Hopefully I could kind of keep it like this. Um, tuck this away. And hide this away. And maybe get like a redstone block that pulls this out. Um, yeah, somewhere like that. Or I can just cover it up. But I just, just for testing purposes now... I need to go and change this spawner. So what we're going to do, it's going to head down there now, which is literally over here, head down into this mine. Um, I'm going to have to patch it up a bit, release the light so they can spawn, and then we're going to see if it works. Now all I want to know is if it works. That's it. That's all I want to know. So you come down here and you go in here. Now my only issue is you might get stuck here, and that's going to be 
saying, um, you know, not looking forward to. I believe if you break this, actually, you go up a lot quicker. Uh, not that I wanted to go up. Oh, God. Now I'm stuck in here. Great. Uh, to be fair, I could just drop down the other side. That's no problem. <laughs> Let's not go in there again, because that will be another waste of time. I should have left a hole here so I could just drop straight back into it. I think they might get stuck, which is kind of thing that scares me a little. Um, although... Yeah, I mean, I have to see what happens. I, I feel like they might push each other in, which will be the key here. That should be, it shouldn't be, the, yeah, that should be a fight. That, yeah, yeah, from what I'm thinking, that should be perfectly fine. They get pushed into there, pushed into there, sent straight up. Now, let's just get rid of these lights quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, have I got a slab? I do have a slab. I need to put a slab on top of this. Oh god, no, that's not what I wanted. Uh, let's quickly... I don't want to break the thing. But... Right, there we are. Right, let's head out of here. Um, funny enough, I'm building this, actually. I realised that I built one side longer than the other. So this side's actually shorter, so I had to reinforce it just so they don't spawn outside. But let's hope that works. Let's patch this back up. Now, I can't hear them. Which makes me think they have actually been sent to the moon. Oh, no, I can't hear them. They might have just been more spawning there. Let's go have a look. I think they might indeed have been sent all the way up to the moon. Oh, did I did I feel that back in or am I just going to have a load of zombies walking about? I feel, like I, I feel like I did fill it back in. If not, I'll find out in a second when... Ah, oh, no, I did. Yes, it works. This is awesome. So it actually does work. I'm actually really happy that this works. But the only issue is they're not going to be one shot kills and I'll have to sit for a while doing this. Um, so I'm going to have to find a way for them to take a lot more damage. If not, I might have to drop this down and make a way to go down. But either way, I've made a cool terraforming thing um, in the thing, in the, in the base. And I need an item collector as well because I don't want to be doing that every time. So it's all perfect. Love it. And I'm actually very, very happy with the way this turned out. You know what? I'm going to end the episode here. We've been to the Never. We've created this awesome XP farm. And I really need to change that Liverpool. I will be doing that next episode. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. If so, please leave a like and a comment down below. What you guys want to see in the next episode. And really a way for me to help improve this um, XP farm here. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you all very soon. Bye.